Allison had arrived on the island of Sodor. Finally, after so many years, I have finally found you. Your number one shall finally be hung above my mantle. <laughs> she was here and she wanted Thomas. But Thomas and his friends have been warned. Thomas and Friends is made possible in part by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Thomas and Friends, making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, who is your friend, Thomas the Tank Engine? He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. and friends, The Sodor Chronicles, Season 3, Episode 7, New Friends for Thomas. It was a stormy night on the island of Sodor. The rain poured, the lightning flashed, and the thunder boomed. All the engines were sleeping quietly in the sheds. Some of the engines were dreaming about faraway places. Others were dreaming about meeting famous people or pulling famous trains. But Thomas was about to have a dream that would change everything. Oh, oh my, what's, what's happening? Thomas, lady, where are you? I can't see you. I'm not really here, Thomas, but I had to contact you. This is very important, so pay attention. She's here, and she's arriving today. Who? Allison. Or Allie, as you know her. You mean that crazy engine from Luz? She did try to crash me, but don't worry, Sir Tupperman will send her packing. Thomas, you don't understand. She tried to crash you so you wouldn't come to Sodor. She isn't from this time. She's a witch from the future and she went back to stop you. Among other things, she accidentally turned herself into an engine. Now she's stuck in that form and can't turn back into a human. She lost all ability to use her powers, but her driver burned her book and her firebox, which spread her magic through. What? Lady, you must help us. I'm trying to get back, Thomas, but for now you must stop her. I will... Come on, lady. Move it. Thomas, I will talk to you again, so please be careful. I'm coming. Please, sir, give me a second. Thomas woke with a start. The storm had passed and now the sun was shining brightly. Even though the sun was out, the rest of the engines were still asleep. Thomas, in a very upset mood, needed to wake them up. 
Guys, it's time for all of you to wake up. They were soon all awake. I've got something important to say. Thomas began telling everyone what Lady had said. Well, you see... There was silence. Then Edward spoke up. Whatever happens, we will work together. She may have magic, but so does Mr. Conductor. Now let's do what Sir Topham would want us to do, and get to work. There's another magic engine? <laughs> yes. Allison was at Napford. Timothy told Toby to take Thomas and Caitlin while Mr. Conductor directed the big engines. Gordon, Edward. Block the points. Now. Right. Aww. You're so pathetic. Not if I have anything to say about it! <laughs> That's so nice! What's happening? Hey! My friends around! I am James, destroyer of gods! Hey, you little. I can see you! Take this, you magic doll! <laughs> Stop this madness now! That was cute. I've heard of you. You have a man who lives in the walls. How are your parents? Enough! <sighs> Is that really all you've got? Oh well. Ugh. That is it. This is my railway and you will do as I say. Will I? Oh, whoa, put me down. No. I'm done listening to fat men. I'm done listening to everyone. It's time for you all to listen to me. I want Thomas, the magic engine, and the location to the magic railroad. If you don't comply, well, excuse the pun, then it's the end of the line for all of you. I'm afraid the pun is inexcusable. <laughs> what the? <coughs> Sir, are you okay? What are you doing here? Yes, I'm fine. Diesel, what are you doing here? Well, sir, I've been working on the mainland for years, but I've been thinking about my mistakes, trying to destroy you all and such, and, well, sir, to make a long story short, I've come to apologize and ask that you take me back in. I could use the work, and I could certainly use the wonderful friends like all of you puff I mean, steamies. The engines were silent. They all looked at each other. Well, Diesel, you did just save me. And my engines. So, as long as you are in your best behavior, welcome to the Northwestern Railway. Oh, oh, oh sir! Th 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 thank you, sir! 
The engines were still worried. They couldn't find Mr. Conductor, they were wondering if Allie would return, and they were suspicious of Diesel. So Tobin decided it would be better if Thomas and Caitlin stayed at Farquhar for the night with Toby. Timothy also promised to keep watch. As the engines got ready for a night of restless sleep, Dieselton was waiting. How dare you! When I'm done with you, you won't even be able to be recycled into a can. Is that any way to talk to your partner? What? My dear Alice, we have a common goal. You want rid of that magical menace. I want to dominate them. You have the powers, I have the brains, and Pinchy. <laughs> I'm listening. I knew you would. Here's what we need to do. <laughs> 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 